right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a, a small unboxing of a, uh, a set of tracks I've just bought recently uh, for the, uh, a buddy build that me and Jens from a 135, sorry, non prolific 135 scale model builder. We're going to do a buddy build. We're going to do a KV8S welded turret with flamethrower. So, this is the kit we're going to use the tracks. They're, they're Bronco. And the kit number is. There we are, there we go. Sorry about the light for the glare. A is AB3560. So, they look a nice. Uh, it's a fairly large box for not a lot in there, but obviously, you don't need a lot with the tracks. And they fit most KV ones and twos, but most of the hulls of the KV hulls it will fit as well. And they're easy to assemble, and they're actually workable as well. So let me just move that out of the way. So we're not getting that glare off that. Where are we at? This here. They're workable. So nothing much on the box. The instructions are on the back. Give me the part list and and what you do to put them together. You see the snap together and then you put the pins in there to a jiggly one the pins not too much obviously so they don't uh, I would say just on the very end before they put in and then you get a movable track I said I've taken them out of the bag I've just tried a couple put them together and they go together really really quite well fairly straightforward minimal clean up I'll show you the sprues let's put that back over there so this, the tracks are really nice actually there's no injection marks there's no so that's the inside, nice and clean, four, four connection points to the sprue but like you can see there at a nice part where you can actually just take a wisp of a file and they're cleaned up and if you get your nice nippers into there you've almost got no clean up at all and on the other side again they're really really nice, nice detail as well and they've got the, it's almost casting the, the texture on the actual track as well which is nice I think I paid about £14 for them um, somewhere in China. I can't remember off the top of my head. It was somewhere in eBay that I usually use. And they're very good actually. I must admit, they, I can get some stuff from China from, uh, I think it's Dawn Grocery off an eBay shop um, from China in less than 10 days. Sometimes it's less than bloody a week at, uh, in, some, in some cases. And the prices are really good. So that's the track itself. And then we have a set of, we have uh, a, a bag full of sprue and a sprue with all the pins. They're plastic pins but they're again easy to clean off, nip off at the ends. The end pieces where they're attached to the sprue gate are the actual bolt looking at the end. So hopefully there again, once you get them in, there should be no clean up, no clean up needed. And again on those. And it says we need Per side, but it says only we need to obviously two sets, and it says it did say I'm sure already it says 88 pieces per side uh, per track, and there's also a little template to give you there so you can make eight tracks at once. I've done a little bit of, I've done one really easy. You see, I've only just took basically took them off the sprue, give them a quick whisper to file tracks themselves and just done these two and let's put a little piece of glue on each end of the uh, a little bit tight there for some reason a uh, little touch of glue on the very ends of the pins so you know you got that workable track inside see sorry in the workable track, nice and easy, and the pins just going. You can see the pin on that one in there. And all I did was I put a toucher to me extra thin just on the end with a cocktail stick, and again on that side as well. And if you do need to file it, you can just once you've got the set run done, you can just give a little file across the top, and they're good to go. So, yeah, nice and simple nice and simple to put together and the workable which is a bonus because obviously you can pause the tank as well and you get that sag if you make it obviously you can pause it if you've got workable suspension but uh, the way I'm going to do this I think it's going to be just a standalone build I think I'm not too sure yet but 
I do like the tracks and they look nice and easy to put together which is an extra bonus, just time consuming but uh, you can do these in an even way sitting doing something kind of, you can take them all off the oh, all the tracks apart first um, into a two pots and just file away the edges that it needs to be filed away or sanded in some cases if you've got a nice pair of nice pair of cutters I use the Tamiya ones and you can get right in with right into the tracks with these because they're not awkward to take off nice and simple minimal cleanup and then I know there's a lot there's a lot to there's a lot to do but uh, get into a rhythm and away you go so that's the uh, end of our little small kit review of the Russian 650mm Omish track link set for KV1 and KV2 workable but they fit most KV hulls like the one on the on the KVS 8S welded turret which we're going to use them for the workable tracks and to save a little jig there you get with it as well just be careful not to get glue on it like I have there but once they're in they keep the shape and they're easy to get, easy to put together, so I recommend I recommend those tracks if you're ever building a KV one or, or a KV any KV chassis, or a, say a Bronco kit. So thanks for watching and thank you all my subscribers for uh, taking the time out of the day to uh, watch this small review, and we will catch you soon with another update for the uh, the Wivet. So this is Greg signing off, and we'll catch you very very soon.